People call the Amazon River a river full of monsters, and there is a big reason for that. The river and the jungle surrounding it is filled with amazing fauna, some of which can truly be considered monsters. Especially number one, so make sure you stay tuned for that one. Here are 10 river monsters caught in the Amazon. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Green Anaconda. Let's start off this list with an animal that is most closely related to the Amazon, and also a returning member from several of our lists. A member of the boa family, South America's green anaconda is pound for pound the largest snake in the world. Its cousin, the reticulated python, can reach slightly greater lengths, but the enormous girth of the anaconda makes it almost twice as heavy. Green anacondas can grow to more than 29 feet, weigh more than 550 pounds, and measure more than 12 inches in diameter, with females significantly larger than males. They live in swamps, marshes, and slow-moving streams. They're mainly in the tropical rainforests of the Amazon and the Orinoco basins. They are cumbersome on land, but stealthy and sleek in the water. Their eyes and nasal openings are on the top of their heads, allowing them to lay in wait for prey while remaining nearly completely submerged. One particularly massive 33-foot specimen was discovered a few years ago by a group of construction workers near the Amazon River. It was hiding inside a cave where the workers were doing a controlled explosion, which unfortunately killed the animal. Number 9. The Black Piranha this fish usually lives in the shadow of its red-bellied cousin. The black piranha in itself is quite amazing, and equally if not even more ferocious, because it packs far more of a punch. Or rather, it packs more of a bite. This animal has, pound for pound, the greatest bite force in the animal kingdom. Outsized jaw muscles allow the black piranha to exert bite force equivalent to 30 times its body weight, a feat unmatched in the natural world. While other animals like the great white shark, the hyena, and the alligator can deliver more forceful bites, their crunching power becomes much less impressive when viewed in relation to their overall size and weight. In fact, relative to their size, piranhas outperform even prehistoric monsters much like the Tyrannosaurus rex. The black piranha is a good-sized fish, averaging about 16 inches long in adulthood. Slower growing than many other piranhas, the black piranha typically grows no more than an inch or two per year and may take almost a decade to reach full size. They can be found in great numbers in the Amazon River and is even sometimes cooked and eaten by locals. Number 8. The Giant Otter When people talk about Amazon River monsters, they always seem to talk about fish and reptiles. Mammals are never in the conversation. But did you know that the Amazon River is also home to a truly monstrous mammal? This South American otter is the world's largest, at some six feet long. It lives only in the rivers and creeks of the Amazon, Orinoco, and La Plata River systems. These huge members of the weasel family swim by propelling themselves with their powerful tails and flexing their long bodies. They also have webbed feet, water-repellent fur to keep them dry and warm, and nostrils and ears that close in the water. Fish make up most of the giant otter's diet. They hunt alone or in groups, sometimes using coordinated efforts and must be successful often to meet their daily intake quota. Each animal may eat six to nine pounds of food per day. Fish are supplemented by crustaceans, snakes, and other river creatures. They are even known to feed on anacondas from time to time. Number seven, the Arapaima. Also known as the Peche, the Arapaima is an air-breathing fish that plies the rainforest rivers of South America's Amazon Basin and nearby lakes and swamps. It is one of the world's largest freshwater fish species. These giants can grow up to 15 feet long and weigh up to 440 pounds, though fish that big have not been reported for many years. More commonly, they are up to about 6 feet long and 200 pounds. This South American giant uses a gulper feeding strategy. By opening its large mouth, the fish creates a vacuum that pulls in nearby food objects. Arapaimas survive mainly on fish, but they're also known to eat fruits, seeds, and insects. They are absolutely fierce predators, and they can also use short bursts of speed to leap out of the water to grab birds, lizards, and even small primates from low-hanging trees. Arapaimas don't just grow big, they also exhibit the fastest known growth rates in any fish. This makes the Arapaima an ideal species for farming. They have been introduced as an aquaculture species to other rivers in tropical South America. It has also been introduced for sport fishing in Thailand and Malaysia. Number 6. 
the Black Canaan. The Black Cayman is the largest member of the alligator family, and the largest predator in the Amazon River Basin, with adult males averaging 13.1 to 16.4 feet in length. The species gets its name from its dark black skin coloration, which provides camouflage during nocturnal hunts and is thought to help absorb more heat. While black caimans aren't the most aggressive member of the crocodile, caiman, and alligator family, you shouldn't try to touch one. These are wild animals, and they can be very territorial, especially if they have a nest and eggs nearby. They don't even have the same fear instincts as other animals, so if they want something, they just take it. While you shouldn't be terrified of these animals, they have been known to attack over 80 people in the last 20 years. Some injuries weren't fatal, but many were. As the apex predators that they are, black caimans aren't afraid of a big meal. Their prey includes cattle, giant otters, horses, monkeys, pythons, boars, deers, armadillos, and pretty much anything else that is unfortunate enough to cross their path. Number 5. The Paraiba Catfish Sometimes called the Lao Lao, the Paraiba Catfish is probably the largest of the Amazonian catfish, and debatably the largest Amazonian fish. The back of the Paraiba is dark gray to black, while the underside is completely white. Paraiba have very large, spiky dorsal fins, and some compare them to sharks. These giant river monsters are rumored to swallow men whole, which isn't far from being possible given these creatures' sizes. There is a report written by President Roosevelt about some of these fish and other tales of certain individuals reaching 10 or 12 feet. These are said to be even more feared than the caiman. However, there haven't been many paraibas caught that could rival the size of the one reported by the former U.S. president. The largest caught on record measures 6.5 feet long and weighed 342 pounds and was caught in 2009 by fisherman George Masulu de Aguirre. Number 4. The Amazon River Dolphin Amazon River Dolphins typically weigh up to 352 pounds. They grow up to 9.2 feet in length. Interestingly, while the dolphin is named after their pink color, they're actually gray when they're very young. The dolphin develops its pink color as it grows older. Some don't change too much, while others develop just pink spots. Other individuals may become a very bright pink color. They may also turn even pinker when they become excited. The colors of this dolphin can depend on a variety of factors, such as diet, how much sunlight they are exposed to, and behavior, as well as placement of their capillaries, though experts are not completely sure of the factors that lead to their unusual coloration. Adult males tend to turn the pinkest color because, well, real men wear pink. Pink river dolphins are super agile, as the vertebrae in their necks are infused unlike other dolphins. The ability to turn their head 180 degrees allows them to maneuver around tree trunks, rocks, and other obstacles. They can also swim forward with one flipper, while paddling backwards with the other, letting them turn with more precision. Plus, we often see them swimming upside down, possibly to help them see the bottom of the river better. Number 3. The Payara the payara is one of the strangest fish that you'll ever find in the Amazon. Not only does it have a mysterious reputation due to a lack of research on the species, but it also has an unforgettable appearance that includes two gigantic fangs, giving rise to other names such as vampire fish and Dracula fish. They make their home in the Amazon basin of South America, where it prefers clear, fast-moving water with lots of currents. You'll often find it in churning rivers on the bottom of waterfalls. They have a fearsome reputation. In the wild, payaras are ferocious hunters that are constantly on the prowl for their next meal, and they don't let anything get in the way of dinner time. They've been known to chase off medium and large-sized fish that they don't want to eat just so the water will be clear for the fish they do want to eat. They have also been known to hunt down and eat another freshwater predator, the piranha. They have also been kept in aquariums as pets, where they lose most of their aggressive nature. Most. However, they should be kept alone in the tank as they still have the tendency to eat all of its roommates. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's pick is, well, let me put it this way. Do you know why human babies are born without teeth? Because if they did, they would look utterly terrifying. The same can be applied to this strange river monster from the Amazon. Find out what it is next with number two. The Paku. Have you ever seen a fish with human teeth? I have, and it's still no less terrifying. This strange looking creature is the Paku. Pakus are a large family of freshwater fish related to the piranha. However, while some species of paku do look like piranhas, they're actually herbivores and an extremely peaceful species of fish. 
One of the primary differences between the two is that the piranha's teeth are triangular and razor sharp, and the paku's teeth are more square-shaped and human-like, which, to me, makes them absolutely terrifying to look at. These fish make amazing pets. In fact, pakus are also known to develop personalities as they grow older and can sometimes recognize their owners. Their fascinating behaviors make them a popular choice among aquaria enthusiasts. But don't think you can just rush off to any pet store and buy one of these guys. They can get so big they tend to become a handful. An adult paku can be over 30 inches long and will need to be kept in a pond or an enormous tank. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. The Giant Freshwater Stingray Stingrays are inherently dangerous creatures. They get their name from the sharp, pointed, and often serrated barb located at the base of their tails. They use this barb for self-defense, and their stings are always painful and often poisonous. Unfortunately, most of these poisons are deadly to humans. Now, these stingrays are often only the size of a dinner plate, because imagine how scary if one the size of a car hood swims directly at you. The giant freshwater stingray may be the world's largest freshwater fish. It's also cloaked in mystery. No one is sure how many giant stingrays are left, which habitats they prefer, or even if they ever venture into the ocean, where their more commonly known relatives live. A major reason why scientists know so little about giant freshwater rays is because they hide at the bottom of the river. They're not considered a good food fish in Southeast Asia, so they're rarely targeted by fishers, though they occasionally get caught in nets. If hooked, the car-sized stingrays can put up a ferocious fight, and there are reports of boats dragged around for hours on the river by hooked rays, and even pulled underwater. Did we leave your favorite Amazon River monsters out? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody!